Hi, this is Claire, and I'm here today to talk about my submission to the Theta Hackathon. What I've done is taken the Theta Web Wallet source code, and I've wrapped it with Electron to create a full desktop application native for both Windows and Mac. And Electron is this really cool uh, SDK or whatever that you can wrap around existing websites or build brand new um, applications that using JavaScript and other things. And there, lots of things are built with Electron, like Visual Studio Code, Twitch, and even Slack is, is built with Electron. And what I'm going to do now is I've already built this uh, Theta wallet, so I'm going to install it right now. and it put this icon here on my desktop. I'm going to run it. And as you can see, it looks very much like the Theta website because it basically is almost the same code. And I did add one new cool feature. I think, at least I think it's cool. And I'm going to pause the video so I can log in with my mnemonic. All right, I've logged in with my mnemonic, and when you log in with a mnemonic, you have the ability to generate additional addresses for your wallet. And the way it works is there's something called a derivation path for Theta and Ethereum. You know, they all have them, all the cryptos. But when I click on these extra addresses, this is the derivation path with an index of zero, which equals the same wallet address, ends in 306A. So this is actually the same wallet that I just opened. But if I want to open up this wallet, which is the derivation path with an index of one, I can just click on it and open it up. It's got a balance of nine T fuel I see. So we can switch to that wallet. And then we can do transactions against this new wallet okay so let, let's go back to the first one with my bigger balance here and so we're, we're back to the main wallet now let's I'm gonna show you how to send some money or send some T fuel to a different wallet so we're gonna send some to uh, this third wallet or index of two on the list we're, we'll copy the address and we're just going to copy the address we don't want to open up the wallet there's nothing in it right now so let's just we copy the address and we're going to send something from this wallet with the index of zero 306a we'll send something to paste this in here we'll just send one and confirm and send. This will take 15 seconds or so. So remember, that we just sent to 997, which is the third wallet or the third address in our list that's linked to our mnemonic phrase. Okay, so it's being processed. Let's see if it shows up yet. Oh, there it is. We've got one T fuel in 997. So let's switch to this wallet. And it shows us with one T fuel. Okay, that's the end of the demo for Windows. Now we'll switch over to Mac. All right, here we are on my Mac. And I'm going to, I just built the DMG right here in the dist, it ends up in the dist folder. So let's open it up. And it should mount the drive. And it creates the app, which I'm going to install as soon as it reads it. Okay, I'm going to install it into applications. And I think it did it. So is it down here? Yep, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to double click that. 
and there we go it's the same application the menu is a little bit different on Mac so you can quit from up here same about box as before okay so let's log in oh I'm gonna pause just a second all right I'm back so it looks very similar to what we just saw on Windows same with the addresses so we have our addresses here and we have this is the one we just sent money to on on Windows so we can open up that wallet and I'm not going to do any more transactions for this video every one cost me 10 cents so um, I think that's the end of the demo and thank you for watching.